Welcome back to this episode, everyone. In this one, we are going to be applying the Aztec Deckling. Welcome back everyone okay now uh what i went and did right now is i used my really dark gray there to seal up any light bleed throughs i repainted underneath here so uh, stop any light bleed throughs even around the knees areas here all around through there that's all sealed up no more light coming through any unwanted areas now I got to let that dry and then I got to put the hull color over top of all that after and then I can start on the Aztec deckling. Here are the Aztec decals that uh, I ordered in for the bottle. They look pretty good. These are also part of it and these here are the original decals that came with the model. Um, so I'm going to use these ones here. I don't need this obviously. Um, so these here I'm going to be using, um, I might have to use these ones here because I don't see them on here, but that's okay. That's okay. Cause then basically everything in here I'm going to be using for the model. But first things first is what I have to do is I have to apply the Aztec decals first and then these here get uh, placed on top after that. So, um, I'm going to be starting off with the top part of the primary hull here, um, which is this in here. So get this all applied first, but I still have to put on the, uh, the primary color over top of the areas here that I have, that I, um, use the putty on. And once I get this all painted up in the hull color and it looks good and it's all dried and set, then I can put the Aztec decals on over top. So I got the placement guide here as to what goes where. So huge help. And uh, anything on the back? Nope. Okay. All right. Looks good. There we go. Got it all painted there. Looks good. Not bad, just gotta let it dry now before I can put the Aztec decals on. All right, starting with the very top here. Now, this is all one whole sheet. So, I gotta be very careful on cutting these out. Um, so it should, they'll fit right, but you just gotta be cautious on how do you cut these out. Okay, so I'm going to start with the very front portion here, which is going to go right here in this area. Got a brand new blade on here, so it's nice and sharp. Got to have my glasses here so I can see up close. Sucks getting old. Now I'm using really hot water with just a teeny tiny dab of soft soap in the water. And I can see I'm gonna have issues already. <laughs> Okay. Now, damp in the front of the ship here. So 
it has something to stick to. Dampen my fingers. Looking good. Took almost an hour just to do that. And once once it dries, it'll it'll flatten out, it'll smoothen out a little bit more. And when everything is completely set, then uh, I'm gonna use a dull coat on it, to seal everything in. I uh, just got this last little bit here to do on the top, and the top part is finished. All right, there it is really looking good. Very nice. All right, I'm working on the bottom half now. This way like this. Now we're gonna be working on this stretch here. Well, actually, it's uh, one, two. Three, four, five. One. If I did one whole big longer, I just anyway. so maybe I'll do is cut up to here and do it in thirds. Next third. Just going to scour it because I just I need somewhere for the uh, tweezers to grab onto. Okay. You have to cut around the uh, the flasher um, just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, and now for the last third. Cut out for the uh, thrusters. Scour a little bit there. Cut that off there. So just so I got something there to 
for the tweezers to grab onto. Because the water is so hot right now, you don't need to put it in for very long. like that. There we go. My oh my. Looks nice. Very nice. There we go. Looking good. After a night of drying. Very nice. Now we're down to the last two sheets here. Going to be using this in here. Working on the, the engineering hell, the bottom part here. Now for the very bottom part here, you see I'm going to have to change it because the hole and the wire is coming out. So I'm going to have to find out where I have to cut out the section here for the hole before I can apply this. There we go. Right there. Couldn't be any more perfect. Right on. Yeah, baby. There we go. Looking good. Very nice. Alright, just got this last little bit here to do. Now I got the the two sides here to do.
But it's about as good as I'm going to be able to get it. At the bottoms of the warp engines, they're done now too. Now I just got to finish off the top. There you go. Warp engines are now done there. Just got to work on the the top parts there, and then this ship is done for the Aztec deckling. There we go. All the Aztec deckling is now on the ship. Looks very nice. Very nice indeed. I still got to do some uh, painting though. That like the the phaser strips have to be painted yet. Um, the bridge dome has to be a little bit darker color. Uh, I got to change the color of the landing bays there. Um, a little bit of painting around the edges here. It's basically, it's just touch up fine print painting that I need to do yet. And then this thing here is going to be ready for the final decals, which would be all the lifeboat hatches. Uh, obviously the registry and the side strips here. Actually, I'm going to use these lifeboat hatches here. They, they, they just look a little bit better. And then I got to put these on at the ends of the uh, phaser strips once I get them painted. And it looks like I'm going to have to use these. I'll have to cut those out of that section there because they go right here on either side here. I don't know why the Aztec Douglas didn't have that, but whatever. Um, and these strips here. Other than that, uh, this thing is... Woohoo! This is looking a lot sexier. Now, if you see, if you compare that between mine... See, I didn't realize when I built my ship that there was Aztec decals I could get for this. This thing's already over six years old. But even without the Aztec decals, I think I did a pretty good job. But uh, this is still a lot better. All right, so let's get the uh, lifeboats on. All right. Record of this. These lifeboats go one here and one here. instructions here are not complete sure it shows all the lifeboats but all the lettering for numbering of these is not there so basically I'm gonna have to use my ship here as a guide. Here we go. All the lifeboats are on the bottom there now. Just gotta do the top. Very good. All right. All the lifeboats are in place now. You know, when I notice between the differences here between this 
uh, model kit and this one. This one is slightly longer, just a little bit longer than this one. So this here is from the newer movies of, of this that had this ship. So because I know in, in the newer ones, they lengthened it a little bit and they altered the warp engines just a bit. There is slight differences compared to this version that I got. That's kind of cool, actually. There we go. Not bad. Looking good. <laughs> this is one beautiful model. Very nice. Now I still got, uh, uh, where are they? Here they are. I still got these things to put on here on the ends of the phaser strips, uh, but I got to get them painted first all over the ship. Uh, yeah, and when I get them done, then I can put those on. And uh, that would be it for the deckling. Well, everyone, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to finish off the deckling, and we will work on the display stand. Please like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to share, and click that notification button for any future uploads. If you have any questions, or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com, and check out my website, www.epicmodels.com Also, check out my online store. The link is down below. I'll see you again later in the next episode. Bye-bye.